Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. We just left Walnut Canyon, which is a national park, and it was lovely. It was the first time we used our national America Hello. the Beautiful National Park Pass. And there's Mr. Jim. We're having a good time. We are having a great time. We stopped there because the Phoenix Ramblers were there and we all, the four of us, went down together to the canyon and took the big hike down. It was just lovely and saw all the cliff dwellings down there and learned a little of the history of some of those Indians. It's very fascinating. And as you can see, up there on the front of Joy, we have the GoPro. Over on the far left by Jim, GoPro there. Over on the far left of Jim, we have the tire pressure monitoring system, Easy which EEZ -E tire, and it monitors the pressure and the temperature of all of the tires on the bus and on the um, car in back and it will beep if we get too much pressure or too low on our pressure or our temperature and we set the parameters in there ourselves so that's really cool also Jim has his uh, camera going so he can see behind him and beside him on each side of course he can see in front of him anyway but there is a camera there and in the very front we have the Garmin 770 RB 770 and the benefit of this for us is not only does it tell you uh, the route and all of that but it lets you know if there is a low overpass coming up or something that is lower you set in how tall your rig is or a bridge. how heavy it is so if there's a bridge that you can't go over because you're too heavy or if there's a uh, overpass you can't go under because you're too tall it'll let you know that it also lets you know warns you about upcoming stuff like normal GPS's do but we really like this one and I've been running it over here in my chair but we both heard Keep Your Daydream say they thought it was really they were in uh, New Zealand and they had one in their dash and they thought it was much more helpful to have it where he could see it once in a while even though she was still navigating it so I'm still the navigator he didn't take my job away from me but he just put it there so he could see some of the curves and stuff. So the next place we're going, rambling on here, the next place I'm go we're going is to another of the Harvest Host place. And this one is a golf, golf club, I guess, place, Grants, New Mexico. And they have now added golf places. So we called them this morning and they said, golf courses, that's the word I'm looking for, duh. They've now added golf courses. So there are hundreds of places to stay with Harvest Host if you're just looking to some, for somewhere to park overnight. It's easier sometimes to, and feels a little better, a little quieter than going to maybe a Cracker Barrel or a Walmart or something. So tonight we're going to a golf course and um, we will, uh, anytime we go to one of those places, we try to go ahead and eat in their restaurant or something like that so that we give them a little patronage as well when we go to see them for their kindness. And I said, where do you have a place for it? He said, absolutely. You just come in and park wherever you want out there in the big old parking lot, wherever you're comfortable, and that'll be great. And the grill closes at 5.30 because I ask about that. So <laughs> we're set. We're headed east, headed toward Texas and Oklahoma, going in that direction. We'll be in Texas for six weeks, and then we'll be going probably up to Oklahoma. Okay, here we are at another um, harvest host and this one is at a golf course coyote 
Whoa. Coyote del Malpais Municipal Golf Course. I guess I'm talking quiet because you know how they talk in the golf deals. Anyway, here is the clubhouse. We stayed in the parking lot. And this is in, there's another um, motorhome that stayed. And then we're right behind them. Well, baby, where are we at? Well, this is um, our second experience with Harvest Posts. And we are in Grants, New Mexico. It's a beautiful, lovely view out here. Mm -hmm. People here are extremely nice. Okay, here we are. We're at one of the Harvest Host locations. You have to remember this is the middle of winter time, just getting ready to be spring. So they've got a little bit of grass coming up now. There's the clubhouse for the golf course. And there was another RV here with us last night. The people were very nice, very clean and pretty inside. And they have a nice little grill there where you can get something to eat. So we went in and ate last night there. And um, so far, our experience with Harvest Toast has just been amazing. And if you, um, are interested in checking it out we'll have a link below and if you use the link that we show you that we have uh, have down below you can get 15% off the membership it includes wineries farms and uh, museums and attractions like that some and now golf courses and this is a lovely place very quiet last night and we had a great great rest but it's a great option when you're traveling and on the way from one spot to another so we're we are on the way from arizona going out to texas so we just stayed here for one night which is better than staying in a walmart parking lot or something and uh, they're so very nice and courteous and uh uh you might check it out, Harvest Toasts. Link below.